Hi, I'm Chef Ski, James Warneski, and this is Cooking with Ski. And today, I'm going to be new preparing a Polish dish that's going to consist of pasta, cabbage, and pork. So let's get cooking. I have a gorgeous pork loin. I got two sides of that pork loin I'll be using in this dish along with 16 ounces of pasta rigatoni. And I'm going to be using one white onion, two carrots. I'm going to peel the onion, slice it, and shred the carrots. Now for the pork loin, I'm going to go ahead and slice each side of the pork loin. And then each side, I'm going to go ahead and cut it into about three quarter inch uh, chunks for sautéing. Now pork is very lean. It does not they render a whole lot of fat. So these three quarter inches are going to be about the same size after they cook down. They'll lose a little bit, not much. maintain a clean board and after you finish everything go ahead and wash the board soap and water along with your knife because uh, you want to keep uh, away from prevention of cross-contamination uh, so anytime you're working with pork with a chicken you always want to clean your surface and your board utensils after you finish I'll be using uh, about 10 12 butt mushrooms and a head of cabbage. This is a small head. I'll go be going and uh, cutting in half and quartering. Now for the mushrooms, it's going to be very simple. You're just going to leave the stems on and we're just going to quarter each mushroom. And there's about 10 to 12 of them there. Now that we got the onions done, moving over to the cabbage and I said this is a small head of cabbage. This actual one was actually kind of a little on the tough side. Uh, you're getting ready to see that. It wanted to put up a little fight. And I'm just going to quarter this. And as you can see, now I'm doing a little triangle cut and removing the core out of each quarter. And I'm just going to shred the leaves on each of the heads of cabbage. And I'm going to take my uh, um, carrots and I'm going to go ahead and shred those on the box cutter. Now you do want to be a little careful when you're getting down uh, so that you don't slosh your fingers. Now 
now that I get all the prep done, uh, we're going to go ahead and start with the uh, cast iron. I do have it preheated. I'm using a combination of peanut and canola oil. And we're just going to go ahead and start adding in uh, the pork uh, that we cut up. We're just going to let it go ahead and start to saute on one side. And then we're going to flip it over on the other side. At this point, there's no need to season. Let's go ahead and start them. Go ahead and get it, get saute and start to get a little bit of color. Now, I did not anticipate uh, that this cast iron was going to be too small. Uh, so I went ahead and switched out to a larger uh, stainless steel cast, uh, cast stainless steel uh, pot, skillet, excuse me, uh, that I used for the rest of, the, of this uh, shallow frying braising. switched over, uh, flipped everything over and see it's starting to get a little bit of color. There's still a lot of moisture that's still there starting to come out and adding in the onions now. So we're going to sweat the onions and go ahead and start folding them in. At this point I pretty much said, oops, I don't have enough space left on my cast iron. Uh, this is where I switched on over to my larger stainless steel skillet. And I'm adding in the uh, mushrooms uh, so that the mushrooms go ahead and start you know, to sweat and so I'm release some of their uh, mushroom core. Now everything's been sauteing, the mushrooms have released their liqueur. Starting to add in the shredded cabbage along with uh, the shredded carrots. And I'm going to go ahead and kind of blend everything up. I'm going to use my tongs. Go ahead and stir everything up so that I can go ahead and get the car carrots, onions, pork, uh, cabbage, everything kind of get mixed up because we're going to start braising uh, this dish at this time. got that done. Everything's braised, carrots all mixed up. Um, and I had a little bit of problems there with uh, my uh, camera. Not sure what exactly happened, but when, as you can see with this, all of a sudden went into slow mode. It's really weird. But no, this is pasta, the rigatoni pasta, I cooked it according to uh, the box instructions, added in some salt to the pasta water, cooked it al dente, uh, set it off to the side, and went ahead and mixed up the um, braised cabbage, onions, carrots, pork, and combined these all in that big pot. And now here is the presentation. This is the, the uh, pasta, cabbage, and pork. This is the Polish uh, version. This is actually a Polish recipe. This is actually really good. The pork is still very tender, not overcooked. The cabbage is braised. Carrots is braised, uh, season it up at this time, and it is really flavorful. Now, if you like this dish, go ahead and give it a try. If you will, go ahead and hit the, the uh, subscribe button and notifications, and that way you'll keep up with all my uh, episodes and all these moves I've put out for you. From my kitchen to your table, enjoy!